everybody here on Facebook. We do it how we do it. And yeah, it's it's just a time for cooking, dialogue, life lessons, things like that. Um, all things life. All things life. The website is www.sugarpearlsonline.com. And of course, the YouTube channel is Sugar Pearls, S U G A R P E A R L apostrophe S. Thank you so much for being here with me on tonight. Um, of course, there have been some very traumatic. Ugh. Lots going on in our world, huh? Yes, lots going on. I know, I ain't, I ain't gonna be weeping wander tonight. I'm gonna. Just... I'm gonna try anyway but yeah we're gonna we're gonna get into all that tonight tonight we are cooking as far as the cooking part of the show um, we are cooking some uh, stir-fried beef so we've got our uh, this is a uh, what is it a petite this is our Angus Petite Sirloin. Very tender, very juicy. So it is going to be perfect in our stir fry, okay? And I had some stuff in the fridge and I'm just like, you know what, I'm gonna just throw all that stuff in there. I had some asparagus still in there. I'm gonna cut that up and use it in there. Of course, some onions. Your stir fry, you can use whatever you want as far as vegetables to accompany your um, protein. It's up to you. Um, but I've got, let me bless you with my colorful plate tonight. Uh, some beautiful carrots already sliced. There we go. Carrots. We've got some green onions, some garlic that I'm going to slice, and some ginger that I'm also going to slice, and some red peppers okay and seeds and everything because i want just a little bit of heat for myself if you don't want the heat then go ahead and um, take out the membrane of the uh pepper when you cut it and get the seeds out that'll cut down on the heat but we are about to get cooking good looking thank you so so much for tuning in and thank you um for tuning in to the messages I know I've put a couple of messages out there. Let me wave to a couple of y'all that are on. Reggie, D, hey, Jackie, hey, Phyllis. Oh my goodness. Camille is here. Yes! <laughs> Camille is here. Okay, now let me see. Camille. I gotta. Uh uh. Don't y'all do this to me. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Camille. Now, why didn't it say. Camille Goldston Bennett, I'm here, but it doesn't ask me if I can bring her on camera. Yes, it does. Okay, Camille, give me, honestly, till 7.30. 7.30, I'm doing a hard stop. Even if I'm finishing up the meal, I'm introducing you and we're coming on. Okay? All right. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. And uh, she'll get the whole introduction and everything. But this is what's going in our stir-fry, our petite Angus sirloin. It's going to be so good. Let's get started because I don't want to leave my sister waiting. And I want you to get this information, okay? Um, not only are we going to cook and have fun, but hey, Teresa, hey, queen yourself. <laughs> not only are we just uh, having a good time cooking in the kitchen, honey. But my big sister, Cheryl, who just celebrated a birthday. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes, 7.30. We are on. So at 7.30, Sugar Pro Studio Kitchen will um, transform into um, a, a platform where we're actually having some dialogue about, like I said, you probably been getting calls from your white friends like, oh my God, what can I do? Uh, we gonna offer some answers to that question I hope and I hope that you are down for the cause I hope that you are down for the dialogue and re really ready to like peel back some layers of what's happening in our country all right so I'm gonna bring you in because 
in this wok I've got a little bit of olive oil and like a couple of drops of sesame oil I didn't want too much sesame oil I've got already cooked that I'm gonna add some buckwheat soba noodles okay and these buckwheat soba noodles when you go in the international food section of your store um yeah I I, I gotta watch out for my pasta y'all know I'm trying to live right you know if you're gonna be down for the cause down for the fight then you need to be fit to fight so I've, I've been making some changes in my life so this is a wheat noodle it's a soba noodle and um, it usually comes like this in the pack already portioned so you don't have to worry about like overindulging and it's wheat it's wheat okay so that's still gonna give me the feel that I want for the pasta but in a more responsible way all right got my soba noodles already cooked I'm gonna go ahead and drain this set it to the side and we're gonna get started with the slicing and the preparing of this meal on tonight how you doing boo for real for real how are you doing you can go ahead and, and chime in I know it, it ain't mm, honey There's a lot happening all right so we've got the um beef for our stir fry you can do this with chicken or shrimp or whatever kind of um like I said protein you want to use for this but what I'm gonna do is just start to make some relatively thin slices uh, it cuts so easy this little I found this it's been in the freezer for a minute but um this petite sirloin Angus sirloin is really tender so when you do eating your stir-fried beef you don't have to worry about just like chewing forever and ever and ever <laughs> okay so what I'm doing is I'm cutting this um I don't I don't know if you can well let me just bring you in then how about that okay <laughs> um I'm cutting my beef kind of um on an angle not super super paper thin but thin enough so that every bite is um and I'm just going to stick it in my bowl here and then I'm going to show you how to prepare it for the wok. All right. My beautiful people, let me tell you. Um this week was hard. This this was a difficult week to just see and experience all that has happened uh, in our country. It's not all been great, but I'm praying, y'all. I, I really am, like praying, not just for the safety of my black and brown brothers and sisters, but that this time, this time we are so uncomfortable and moved to change that we're going to demand greater. It is our responsibility. And I realize that, you know, I don't have a huge platform. Like, I don't have these thousands and, you know, million followers and all of that. But I do have a platform. And more than that, I have a voice. So, um, with what I have been given, thank God, I am... I'm going to use that voice to do my part. So I hope that you're along for the ride. Now, the cooking, I'm keeping myself on time. This is not a hard recipe. It doesn't take a long time. I'm slicing some ginger right now pretty thin. Okay? Now, if you are intimidated by ginger, don't be. Um, when you see it and it's see this root in the store go ahead and get it you can um when you're making tea at night and you just want to calm yourself or if you have an upset stomach or you're feeling kind of nauseous put this ginger and a little bit of honey or some agave nectar in the pot boil it down you got yourself a nice uh tea to help with nausea 
and just relax you. Now, to peel ginger, you don't need a, um, a vegetable peeler or anything. All you need is this. Yes. The skin is so paper thin that all you need is a spoon and you just start to, look at that. It just comes away just like that, like that, okay? So that's how I did it. Just peel it with, with a spoon. There you go. So that's your cooking tip for tonight, all right? Get friendly with ginger and start to use it in, in your diet, all right? So I got a little bit of a little finger of it and all I'm doing is just kind of slicing it kind of thin because ginger it packs a lot it packs quite a punch so I'm not even going to use all of it but I'm going to do that in a pepper I'm going to keep the seeds because like I said I want just a little bit of heat if you don't want heat then split it open and take the membrane of the pepper out and um and the seeds and that'll help you with the heat so i got that i cleaned up some mushrooms already that's going in there <laughs> i'm so loud with this knife like this is probably not okay so I got that, all right? Now I'm gonna take some of this asparagus. And yes, I want it in my stir fry. You don't have to. You do your asparagus the way you want. I mean, do your stir fry <laughs> the way you want. You can add whatever vegetables or protein that, that you want, but I've had this asparagus in the fridge in my vase of water and I don't want to use it. So, put that in there. Yes, yes, yes. So now everything is ready. <laughs> okay, so now um, in your hot wok, Wait until it gets good and hot before you throw that beef in there. I'm going to heat my pan up again. And before I toss my beef in, I need to prepare it, okay? So here I've got a little salt. Take notes. Take notes. All right. Salt. Just season, okay? Um, and a little bit of cornstarch. Okay, that might be like a, a teaspoon and a half or something, okay? And to this, I'm going to add one egg. All right, now, um, with the egg, if, if you have somebody who, you know, uh, is lactose intolerant, can't do the egg sort of thing, you don't have to use an egg you just mix everything but the egg really helps everything to adhere to uh, your stir fry your uh, whatever protein you're going to use for the stir fry okay all right so once you got that you're just going going to mix 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 it on in Ooh, do just a little bit more cornstarch. Yes. Okay. And just a pinch more salt, because I know that probably wasn't enough. All right. So I've got the first smoke off of my wok here. I'm going to bring you into the pot a little bit. All right. So... Let me adjust, and then I'm going to bring you along. Now, I hope that you guys are going to stick around at 7.30. Um, my guest, my Stillman College sister, is absolutely amazing, and she's going to really be giving us knowledge uh, about... I, I'll do the whole introduction 
okay because you know this ain't just no anybody this is somebody with expertise expertise so i need for you to join us as well hi miss tony hi charlotte <laughs> hey sean oh my gosh hey calvin and coco thank you guys for being here with me hi viva thank you boom and my niece shatara hi miss sophia okay so i've got my beef all right Crank this up. I probably turned it down a little too fast. All right. In any case, it'll be all right. Turn it up, turn it up. So with your stir fry, um, you want to make sure that you do better than I did. <laughs> And make sure when you drop that, like, it is sizzling honey. Okay? You can see now where the edges are starting to brown just a little bit with, with that egg on it. That really helps it along. And we're going to brown and toss, brown and toss. Um, once this gets brown, brown, then we will add a little soy sauce. A little oyster sauce. And then we'll toss in our veggies. Okay? Okay. Oh. Now, um, okay, let that go. All right. Get that heat back up. That's got to go a little bit. Um, so, I, um, although this week was very emotional and just, it seemed like every time you looked at a news feed or turned on the news, like, it's a lot, it was a lot, um, and I did a little bit of shaking things up myself as far as calling out certain things that just just aren't right they don't feel right they don't look right they're not right um, and when I tell you um, hold on Brown it. I think I need a little bit more oil because it's cooking out pretty bad. <laughs> okay. I just hit it with a little more um, olive oil around. So, I love you too, Coco. <laughs> okay, so we got that going. But we need for it to be brown and pretty. Okay. Um... I had a conversation with a white female colleague on yesterday. And when I tell you, okay, this will be this, is, I know me and Camille are going to talk about this uh, when I bring her on in 10 minutes. <laughs> when I tell you that at 45 years old, this was the first time the first real conversation that I had ever had with any white person about race and racism one-on-one. -on -one. Never. Like, we talk around it at work. We do these workshops and stuff that are supposed to be, like, getting... Anyway. Um, but when I tell you that I feel, I feel equipped now 
to now have this type of dialogue with more of my white friends and colleagues. I ain't got a whole lot of them, but I do have some. <laughs> so, you know, if we're really going to do this work, then it starts there. And I realized for myself that I can't be mad at people asking questions. Some of them don't know. Some people don't have a clue. But most of you know right from wrong. And everybody knows right from wrong. Okay. But, uh, honey, I'm just like, give me more of that. Give me more of that. You know, where I've got a white person actually wanting to know you know, um, and wanting to be educated in this climate. That, to me, just spoke volumes. So, Sarah, thank you so, so much for that. I look forward to, it can't be a one and done. You know, things like that, you got to keep up. So... It's, it's all of our responsibility to keep it up. Okay. I'm going to show you what's happening. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. That's what's happening with our stir fry. Okay. So I'm going to crank that up now. I've got some pieces that are pretty brown. I could probably go a little browner, but I don't want to overcook my steak. So at this point, we are going to add um a little and turn this up because whatever you add is going to cool the pot down oh not so fast girl not so fast so all those veggies that i cook up cooked up those are going in there that ginger those mushrooms that asparagus onions carrots all that yep Okay, and let it work. Let it work, let it work, let it work. And let's put this away. There you go. And first, first, first. brightly colored food that is my thing okay now for the soy sauce so we're gonna add about three two to three tablespoons of it mix this up okay oyster sauce okay this is interesting So for my oyster sauce, I'm going to add about two teaspoons. That's a pretty small teaspoon, so that's why you see me going over. Okay. All right. And just a pinch of white sugar. Boom. That's it. That's it. And stir. Hence the name, stir fry. <laughs> uh oh, I dropped a piece of veggie. Y'all. Yeah. 
This is what you got. That's your beef stir fry. Okay. So I'm going to grab some noodles now to go on my plate and prepare to add the beef. All right. So, um, even though this is a buckwheat noodle that I'm using, I still want to make sure that my portions are decent and I'm not going overboard. Okay, so I've got just a little bit of, let me taste it. All I, I did it just like I cooked pasta with just a little bit of salt in the water. Mmm. That's good. It's kind of firm to the bite, but not hard. Still tender. And y'all, dinner is, is ready. This is this is it. Okay. Of course, I'll take a picture of it uh, later. I know. Oh, honey, it is Sugar Pro Studio Kitchen live. Yes, I can cook collard greens, mustard greens, neck bones, and all of that stuff. But you know, every now and then, I just want to go like to another place. So, um, <laughs> so we've got our beef stir fry, and now I am ready to eat. So. I know it's going to be a little bit spicy because of those peppers. That pepper. Mm. 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 I just got transported to a little restaurant. In your neighborhood Chinatown. Like this. Make this. Make it. I just. I, I hope you were paying attention. I hope you took notes. I did do a couple of measurements. But you know. Mm-hmm. Mm. I actually seasoned that really good. And because of that Angus sirloin, child. Ain't no excessive chewing. It's tender. And all of these vegetables just make you want to keep digging in. When your food is bright and colorful, you can't help. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You can do this with chicken if you don't want beef. Now, my little sister Patricia, she's not a huge beef fan. She'll, you know, she'll eat a little piece of steak once in a blue moon. But you can totally do this with chicken or shrimp. Mm. 